Why evolution does not work. 2. In a previous video, we presented a simplified scenario to show why natural selection is not able to overcome the flood of harmful mutations in most creatures. In this video, we refer to biologically realistic numerical simulations that lead us to the same conclusion. Fact. The vast majority of mutations are harmful, with most being invisible to natural selection. Beneficial mutations, if any, are exceedingly rare, below experimental detection limits, and are often not visible to natural selection. The result is genetic degradation of the species over time. This is the opposite of what is needed for constructive evolution, that is, for evolution to improve the species enough over time to create new higher taxa. Details. Natural selection is not able to overcome bad mutations in general, except for creatures such as bacteria with very large populations and short reproductive rates. We will look at humans as an example. One genetic degeneration, high mutation rate. Each human being typically acquires 100 to 200 new mutations every generation. Nature of mutations. The vast majority of mutations are harmful, with most being unselectable through natural processes. Direction of evolution. This results in a negative degenerating trajectory for evolution. Two, rarity of beneficial mutations. Beneficial mutations are exceedingly rare, below experimental detection limits, and often not subject to selection. Three, inevitability of genomic deterioration. This leads to natural selection not being able to stop genomic deterioration. Four, numerical simulation. Numerical simulations were performed using the software Mendel's Accountant by Dr. John Sanford, geneticist and team. Mendel's Accountant is a population genetics model that simulates the mutation and selection process over time. Dr. Sanford is also the inventor of the first gene gun. The gene gun shoots DNA-covered micro pellets at plant cells, creating transgenic plants. Mendel's Accountant is a genetic accounting program that enables realistic numerical simulation of the mutation selection process over time. Five. Numerical Simulation Insights Over 90% of mutations are detrimental, with beneficial mutations having minimal impact. There is a continuous decline in fitness, leading to an inevitable path toward extinction, as modeled by Mendel's accountant. 6. Mutation Accumulation Statistics Within 250 generations, tens of thousands of deleterious mutations accumulate per person. 7. Population Dynamics Simulation With a mutation rate of 100 per person per generation, and a beneficial to deleterious ratio of 1 to 10, a population of 1,000 undergoing unrestricted probability selection faces extinction after approximately 268 generations. My comment, the alleged ancestors of humans are commonly estimated to have a population of about 1,000 or fewer individuals as they branch off from the alleged chimp human ancestor. So, a population size of 1,000 is a good choice. If we increase the population size to 10,000 individuals, the species takes longer to go extinct, but the trajectory is the same, heading for extinction. A deleterious to beneficial mutation ratio of 10 to 1 is very generous. In reality, the number is more likely to be 1,000 bad mutations per good mutation, or 1 million to 1. Conclusion 1. Within 250 generations, tens of thousands of deleterious mutations accumulate per person. 2. The result is genetic degradation of the species over time. My comment. This is the opposite of what is needed for constructive evolution, i.e., for evolution to improve the species enough over time to create new higher taxa. So, evolution is not able to work to improve complex species over time, so as to create new higher taxa, e.g. phyla, and new body plans. We see a systematic pattern of genomic degradation for all higher, more complex species, above bacteria. This is consistent with the average one million year lifetime for complex vertebrate species, such as mammals, in the fossil record. Natural selection is not able to overcome this genomic degeneration in more complex species. So, naturalistic evolution cannot create the higher taxa. A better model is intelligent design infusion of biofunctional information at the origin of each of the higher taxa, kingdom, phylum, class, order. This would explain why almost all of the higher taxa appear suddenly in the fossil record without long series of gradualistic precursors, this video references research and results by Dr. John Sanford with due respect and thanks. However, we are not affiliated with him or his team. Added comments are our own. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.